Well, that's fairly simple. Uh, we put all the JavaScript code that we wrote in a function. Um, how do we do a function? How do we declare a function? We write the word, the keyword function there. You can see it highlighting in blue. And then um, put the name of the function. Just put any name you want. I'm just going to write down calculate. And then you have to need to have those parentheses and all the code is going to be within those curly brackets so we open it there and we close it at the end of the script now we're going to have to call that function calculate every time this button is clicked how do we do that Let's go to the button, there's the button there, and then we write on click, equals, double quotes, and then we put that function in there. So um, the terminology is important here. So what is this? This on click is the event handler. So the click itself, that click is just an event, right? The event handler is um, what takes care of that event. So we click it, that's the event, the event handler is going to do something in, in in response to that click it's going to call that function there so every time you click the button this event handler will trigger the um, the right uh, function let's just save that and see if it works And this is taking forever. Right. There's nothing in there anymore, right? Why is that? It's because the whole code is now within a function. So there's nothing in the script, really. If you click on that, the script only has a function. See that arrow, when I clicked it, it minimizes, um, it kind of hides all that code there. So the script only has one function, then it closes the script. Um, that function doesn't get executed unless you actually call that function. So whenever we click the button, we're going to uh, call that function, and then all the code in that function will get executed. Let's test it out. Click. And then there you have it. Everything is done. The console prints out the list. Um, and then the BTEC points, the UCAS points, and then the final grade. Even uh, the answers displayed on the page. And then every time you click the button, that the, the, the whole code executes again and again and again. Now, if you want to change those, let's change that to distinction. I'm a very good student. I'm a very, very good student. I have all distinctions in all units. No, I'm not. I only have a few distinctions. There you go, 420 UCAS points, D star, D star, D star for BTEC grades. Now, there's one thing that we need to look at, which is what if one of the grades was just unclassified? What happens then? 
well, what is meant to happen is um, as soon as you click that button, sorry, as soon as you make it unclassified, wait, sorry. Sorry for that. See, the code here, it only gives you an answer, it only gives you the result when, when you have a grade in all of the units. If one of the units was just um, unclassified, then it won't work, it will just stop. Because obviously if you fail one unit then you, you fail the whole year. But if you have that as unclassified, well we have a problem there. It still works. It still counts that as a as a grade. It just gives it a value of zero there. And then it adds all everything together and well it turned out that this student has got a D star DD and that is wrong. How do you fix that?